I used to get the pick when I was young. Me too. Yeah. Now I do it for my son. Everybody be having me like I'm the one. You will, nigga. No strap gon' get it done. Double back, but bring a ton. Catching lacking, we gon' punish you. So they won, but yeah, I front it too. What's going on, YouTube, man? It's your boy Pride, and today I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're doing another episode of Advice from a D1 Athlete and in this video I'm going to be going over a couple questions you guys had about treatment. These are the comments right here that I've seen about a couple of guys wanting to know what's treatment like, what to do in your sore, how does it work and I'm going to let y'all know. First things first, I had a couple comments in the last video of people that did not believe me when I told them my nose was pierced. They tried to type in the comments, I had a booger in my nose so I told you I would show y'all. First of all, I read the comments, I'll be in there talking to y'all so let me go ahead and get this out of the way. You see that, right? You see it? Now, all y'all, both of y'all, you know who y'all is. Cash at me $30. Thank you. Anyways, listen. So in college, treatment works in a variety of ways. Depending on where you go to school, how big your school is, these may vary, but it's kind of broken down like this. Your training facility, your training room is typically shared by multiple sports on campus. There's trainers, you know, that help with specific sports, a la your water boys, water girls, then you have like athletic trainers. At my school in particular, we had one main guy that kind of oversaw every sport and we had a lot of his prodigies. <laughs> but listen though, they have a lot of things that you can go in there and do on your own. And there's some things that you would need help with that people would help you with. So I've always said in previous videos, you're in charge of taking care of your own body. Okay, I wouldn't put it in the hands of anybody. I would trust yourself. Nobody's gonna look out for you like you. So me personally in the training facility, I wasn't there often, but I was taking care of my own body. Here's the thing. In every standard facility, you're gonna have hot tubs, you know, cold tubs, there'll be foam rollers, there's tables, you know, where you get taped. You know, people can do the hand rollers, roll you out manually. There's bikes, you know, stationary bikes. They have like the hot towels, ice packs, that type of stuff. And there's multiple trainers there, you know, if they wanna stretch you out, or if you wanna get treatment done, if you wanna do therapy, they're all there. So example, when I told you guys I hurt my sternum, I was in there every single day after waste doing uh, therapy to try to heal it. It was ridiculous, but they have different ways for you to treat your body. Now what I would do, I just did a lot of stretching. I hate foam rolling, but I used to foam roll and I used to get as much sleep as possible. Even to this day, you rarely catch me up later than like 10 o'clock. I'll be out of there because y'all know me if you follow me on my socials. I'll be up in the gym really early, consistently. So I'm, I'm not really with that staying up all late. I'm about getting my sleep. Now my school in particular, as I said, I wasn't in the training room often. One, because I was never really hurt like that. I always had little nicks and bruises, but I was never really injured, you know, thank God. But I didn't really like the facility anyways. And I, it was almost like, a rendezvous point for all athletes. So you could go in there, you could see girls from the basketball team, girls from the soccer team, you could see dudes from the baseball team, and they're just in there. Some people are in there talking, some people are in there actually putting in work, but it varies. But my personal advice, as far as your recovery, do the things that I did, get your sleep, hydrate, stretch consistently, roll out consistently, and typically you'll be okay, but if you get hurt, you know, you're banged up, Go in treatment, man. Go ahead, get in the go ahead, get in the ice tub, get in the hot tub, have a trainer stretch you out. You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. And they're there for you can do it every day if you want to. Me personally, the only negative I used to go through is because it was so hot. Sometimes I would cramp up because we were out there running like a cross country team. Do not get in the hot tub if you're cramping. You should know this, but if you don't know, I'm telling you now. If you have, if you're cramping or you feel like you're gonna cramp, don't get in the hot tub. To be honest, bro, there isn't isn't too much to it. Like I said, there's a staff, there's trainers. You come in there, man, any issue that you have, there's somebody there that can help you through it, depending on the program. Now, obviously, if you're at like a very, very low budget school, you might have one trainer, like it may be completely different. That's why I said it varies on whatever program you're at, but it should be suitable enough for you to kind of get done whatever you need to get done. You know what I mean? You just make the most of it. But your number one doctor, your number one trainer should be yourself. You can't, 
you can't rely on anybody else to help you through these things, especially when you get to the college level. You have to be the number one advocate for your own health. I hope that pretty much explained it, man. You know how to recover as an athlete, what to do if you're sore. I told you guys what I did, what college is like in general. And at the same time, you're so busy, you don't have too much time to be in the training facility anyways. And honestly, I didn't even like being in the building. So you know how people would get their ankles taped? I used to wear like, uh, you know, the ankle wraps that you tie up. I was almost, I did everything possible to be away from the whole football building as much as possible because you're there so much. So I could I could literally have almost all my undergarments on for practice and I could be in my, in my apartment. Then I could just pull up to the school, put on my pads, put on my pants, you know what I'm saying, and be out. You know what I mean? I already had my ankle stuff, my socks, everything. I never really had to be in the building any extra amount of time unless I chose to. You get what I'm saying? So that's just me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment hashtag advice for whatever you want to see next. Leave further comments, questions, concerns down below, man. It's your boy IB. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out. Let's go.